Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install the official, unofficial Android 4.3 firmware, TouchWiz firmware for the Galaxy Note 2. It's supposed to be released on November 20th, but uh, looks like there's a leaked version floating around. And I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Alright, so this is actually pretty easy. I have this uh, one-click uh, Odin package and it's basically that. We're going to get into download mode on the Note 2 and we're going to flash this uh, one-click and you're done. But there's some things that we have to do first. Now this is going to completely wipe all the data off your device. Everything. So you need to back up first. What I would recommend doing is just connect your phone to the computer and then make a backup folder like I've got one up here just titled BU for backup and I just drag and drop all the information that I want to save like uh, titanium backup folder, uh, pictures, music, anything like that if you've got some folders for some applications like I've got the cardio trainer application on my phone and I want to make sure I save the folders for that just go ahead and drag them over once you're complete with that we need to get into download mode uh, first note is I went ahead and took out the SIM card as well as my external SD card, my memory card because this, like I said, it will completely wipe all the data off the internal and I'm not sure if it will wipe it off the external storage as well. So just to be on the safe side, I took that out and I took out the SD card just so I wouldn't get any calls during the process that might affect the outcome or random text messages or things like that. Alright, so with that being said, we're going to get into download mode here. And the way you do that is you press volume down, your home button, and the power until you get the screen with the little triangle, there it is, and it asks you to uh, press volume up to continue, and that's what we want to do. And now we're in download mode. Very simple. Set that aside. Now, like I said, I got this uh, download package, this Odin package, excuse me, and one-click package. I'll put a link down below to where you can find this. And when you download this, it's a zipped file, so you want to extract it somewhere on your computer. And then when you double click on that extracted file, this is what you get. It's an Odin package. So we're just going to double click that. And that's going to open up Odin here. Okay, so now you want to plug up your device. We are in download mode still. You want to connect this to the computer. And you hear we got uh, audible recognition. And in a second we're going to get, there you go, it's a, the yellow port uh, shows that Odin recognizes the device. And down here it says added. That's what you want to see. If you don't get those two things, then that probably means your drivers are not correct or not installed. So you need to go and uh, install the drivers. The best way, the easiest way is to install Samsung keys and that will install the drivers as well. Now, all we have to do is press start. It's going to install the Android 4.3 leaked TouchWiz. So here we go, showing progress there. On your phone, you're starting to get a little blue progress bar going across. And this will take a few minutes because it's installing the complete ROM. So we'll be right back when this is all done. You pretty much don't touch anything until it's done. Alright guys, so it just finished and the phone is now rebooting automatically. You'll see by the time that, uh, I think it was about 11.16, 11.17 when it started. So five or six minutes is what it takes. And the phone is rebooting. It rebooted into uh, recovery and did some things. Now it rebooted again. And we can unplug it at this point. We are done. Odin is done. Now you just have to let it reboot. We get the AT&T boot logo. 
and once it completely reboots I'll show you guys what it looks like okay so here it is this is TouchWiz 4.3 for the Galaxy Note 2 this is the leaked version uh, the official is supposed to come out like I said November 20th I believe so there you go Android 4.3 now this is only for the AT&T i317 okay this will not work this actual one-click method will not work on any other devices so don't try this on the T-Mobile uh, you're going to mess up your device there probably is a method for those other devices it's just not this one so just do a Google search for your device and you'll probably find something. Well, that's it, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.